the only place that we could stop that wasn't full of ice on oh, the oh, on the car park was like this this little pulling on it's on a massive incline. It's, it's awful. Yeah, I'll show you. And it's getting dead windy. A camper van's just gone past with Santa Claus hanging off the back of it. It was hilarious. <laughs> How are we going to get Snib up this hill from this position? I think it'll help if you get out. Oh, you cheeky swine. Oh, that's a better one, isn't it? Could have stopped there. Mind you, there's pockets of ice in there. We had the camper van, didn't we, with Father Christmas hanging on to the side of it. And now we've just had a car going past, coming towards us, waving frantically at us. They had um, snorkels on. We had ski goggles. Ski goggles and yeah. It just looked funny, but they were frantically waving. So if you do watch this channel, and that's why you're waving. Hi, I was trying to wave too quickly, but. Be where the motorhome parking is, maybe. Oh, in there? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, there's hook up here, right? So that's your motorhome parking area with your hook up. To be open, maybe. I'll have a look on the website. No, there's two people. There's motorhomes, usually. No, I'm on about for when you book in. Or... Oh. Oh, it's a bit short of somewhere, isn't it? Braemar Caravan Park in Braemar in Aberdeenshire and it's lovely it's really really lovely it's a place I've wanted to go to for a while we've come just a couple of days after the snow's thawed out but apparently there is snow coming Monday Saturday today which is a shame because it would have been lovely to see it in the snow We've been down for a little totter to the village last night and it's beautiful. I will take you down there later. For now, I'm just going to do a quick tour of the caravan park itself. I'm standing at the back end of our pitch. And you've got this lovely little grass area. Here in front of me is reception. It's a barrier entry and exit system, so it's nice and secure reception here there's also a little shop in there as well which has got all your essentials we've got a few pods there yeah you pay for the pitch and then if you want electric you purchase a card and whatever you don't use you take back for a refund I'll tell you more about that later Oh, people have got sledges under the caravans and everything. It's another nice little stream. It's just a short walk into Braemar itself, probably about a five minute walk. home service point here you've got your drive over here which is really good there's plenty of space water tap 
and in here is a drinking water water room yeah. I think that's just to protect the pipes from freezing because it is such a cold area have an easy access toilet and shower you've got a dishwashing area So here to your left you have a woodland walk and a doggy walk really because it's absolutely freezing and blowing a gale. This is the little dog walk in Braemar Caravan Park. Right, don't don't cheat this time. Which way do we do? That way, otherwise, oh, yeah. otherwise it'll never happen. Right, like, you're just got, hang on, on a minute. No, stop yeah. cheating. I'm not cheating. God. After twa. So and uh, twa. You put yours down. No, I did, I did not. I did not. No, I won. I've come for a shower so I thought I would just show you the facilities. There are two shower blocks here. One is closed at the moment with it being winter. Your gents. In here you've got your chemical waste, disposal, more dishwashing sinks. Those are in addition to the other ones. So you've got a laundry with tumble dryers, a washing machine, and you've got a couple of hand washing sinks. A boot wash, which is very handy if you go walking in the hills. Oh, hold on, we've got a drying room, boot room, and information room. Oh, that's pretty neat. Everything's brilliant if you go mountain walking because you can dry all your wet weather clothing off information room which oh it's lovely in here as well oh how lovely and warm uh the usual books games dvds just some magazines to be able to caravan and motorhome magazines and some more leaflets i don't normally do this but you've got your showers as well Okay, I'll just explain to you about how the pitch and the electric works here at Braemar Caravan Park. Um, you pay for your pitch, which at the moment for us, it costs us £26.40. Obviously, it'll be different for everybody, depending on the time of year and your vehicle size. Um, so check the website for prices. And then you pay your electricity separate. So you buy a card like this. We bought one for £10 we didn't know whether we were going to stay for two nights or and we didn't know how much electricity we actually used to be honest with you so we're just trying to work out how much electricity we've used it's a bit complicated you know he's forgot how how, how the, the guy said you worked it out we put 10 pounds in which gives us a meter reading of 41.67 okay got that when i checked the meter this morning it said 40.53 left okay that leaves approximately no approximates there's no approximates in maths <laughs> pause it <laughs> maybe we've done it wrong okay try again which means we've used 1.14 kilowatt hours of electricity okay you then times that by the price that they charge here which is the price they have charged which is 0 0.24 
of a pound, so 24 pence. Yeah. And that equals 27 pence we've actually used we've in electricity. Used, so we've used 27 pence in electricity since we got here yesterday at what time? We didn't connect it till the evening. We did. No, no, when, until we come back from our walk. That's when we connected oh, okay, up, yeah? okay. Because we couldn't have anything running So it was way. about five o'clock we, we connected it. So from five o'clock yesterday, we've had the diesel heater running all yesterday yeah. the evening. Um, kettles boiling. We've had a few kettles. Yeah. Things um, charge. Um, we've had lights on. Yeah, we didn't charge up much stuff because a lot my of phone was, was on charge. My phone was on charge, so but my two phones. But my laptop wasn't on charge. The fridge. The fridge. Um. That's it, really. Just lights. Didn't put the air fryer on. Um. Just the kettle then, really. The cooker turntable was on the oven. Yes. So that's electric. Yes. And the light on the oven. Light on the oven. Yeah. Which you'd left on, but I, I wasn't going to moan over a light. You know? Oh, well, I'll give you the, the penny <laughs> back that I've, I've cost you. <laughs> so, 27p we've used. Okay, well, that's not too bad. When we go to get the refund, and it actually says we owe them £27, <laughs> make sure you update no, the video. It does tell you, actually, um, there is, you can um, read the meter, view, you can view your remaining credit, um, and there's a low credit warning as well, so you don't run out. Um, and you just go and top it up at reception. And then, obviously, whatever you haven't used, this is the bit I like. Because I was worried when I heard about this first. Because I thought, well, how much do you, how do you know really how much you use in a caravan? You know, you, a camper van, you don't know. But, so we bought a tenner, just in case, because we had no idea. But, we did try and advise they are very helpful yeah to the, give you a rough idea yeah, the reception know, size the guys on the re is. the guys on the reception were really helpful we just bought 10 pounds worth and whatever we don't use we take the card back into reception and we get a refund so for me i actually quite like this i would say this is a good thing to have on campsites do you providing they, they reduce the pitch the pitch price now i think the pitch price is what it is here because it, it's a nice <coughs> it's a very oh, yeah, nice I'm not criticizing it's a lovely pitch site price, yeah it's a beautiful area yeah it's so stunning it's, here. it's worth paying for yeah it's not just a, a, a car park yeah is it? absolutely not here it's definitely worth the, the the basic price of the pitch without the electric it's but the electricity they're charging here <clears throat> bear in mind there's no standard charge is half the price the electricity of everyone being charged at home now if you're on yeah the the, the open rate well i'm not sure if that's correct but um yeah, it is well we're 44 pence at home and that's 24 pence here well maybe they're subsidizing it themselves no, no they because they're a business governments are helping them oh okay okay well he said that oh right the, the, the gentleman said that maybe that's unique to scotland or to, to this park i don't know so um, if we'd have known that, we could have had the electric heater on yeah? all night. <laughs> Does that mean we can stay another night now? Yeah, we're safe. Yeah, but then we may find out I've worked it out wrong. Yeah, but you'd get a low credit warning, wouldn't you? Yeah. On the card. So, and we're going to be out today anyway because we're going into the village. Um. So, yeah, really good. I like that idea. That's definitely because we worry a lot. You know about how much electricity we're using especially when we're on small sites like cls and cs's um like when we didn't have the pump working and i was having to boil kettles for hot water i was worrying about the amount of electricity i was using so i did pay a little bit extra to, to the site just to make it up <laughs> i'm just soft like that i just wouldn't want anyone to be out of pocket because we've got a problem it wouldn't be fair there is wi-fi here available uh, which you can purchase a voucher for and connect from your device but i'm on gift gaff and my my 4g is is fine no problem how's your internet ee about 140 megabytes download and about 30 upload is that good amazing okay so you heard that better than home is it oh well yeah better than five, home. five times with each so yeah all in all it's a lovely place highly recommend the drive up here through was absolutely stunning it really was wasn't it from blair gallery way yeah 
it just was beautiful um, going up through the mountains past the ski centre and um, there was snow on the mountains so I think we've come like two days after the thaw so yeah we'll miss that but never mind and the village is beautiful as well it's a beautiful hotel called the Fife Arms oh my gosh it's amazing google it have a look on google it's absolutely stunning it's like something from a different world I mean it's something that's way out of our league I think it was about it's £560 a night at the moment £560 a night just for a basic room <laughs> when I looked up I was looking up um it was saying like £1,200 a night for obviously an upgraded room um but yeah way way out of our price but there's a valet service they have bellboys and they're all dressed in like um heather colored tartan uniforms it just looks amazing it, it's like stepping back into like wow this is um it's way out of our league and there's all fancy pants cars parked outside you know so yeah um one day when we win the lottery I'll, I'll have a night there we'll turn up in our citron yeah egg. we'll turn up in old snip you know our 11 year old camper van parking yes we'll just park that for me there please sir see if you can fix the water pump <laughs> yeah <laughs> charlie's absolutely loving the walks here the little woodland walk is beautiful and the site is literally behind us and it runs right along the pictures behind there's a big strip of grass <laughs> When I went out this morning, it is covered in bunny currants, absolutely covered in them. Um, so Charlie has absolutely loved that, you know, having a good old sniff at what's been making the bunny currants. Um, in fact, he loved it so much, he even brought one into the camper van for us, which was really nice. <laughs> Dogs, he's after me. I'm going to leave it here for now, and yeah, we'll catch you up later in the village. Bye for now.